Hello, good morning once again, my dear Madung 5 students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Now today we're going to continue our lesson about the measure of central tendency. Okay, so we're finished already uh, with the mean, the first part of the measure of the central tendency. Okay, and uh, we followed with uh, the median. So with the mean, we figure out uh, how to find the, the mean by using the ungrouped data as well as with the group data. So now we start with the median for the ungrouped data. Now, by the way, today is Monday, uh, the 8th of February, 2021. Okay, so maybe uh, next week we will be going back to school already. Now, so we go back to our lesson, the median. The median, we have here the definition first. The median is a value which divides all either ascendingly or descendingly ordered data into two equal parts. It can be considered as the middle value but not but does not have to be one of the observed data. Meaning to say that the median, if uh, we need to rearrange or arrange uh, the data ascendingly or descendingly ordered data. Nah? So if the, the data is not uh, arranged from the lowest to the highest or the highest to the lowest, then we need to. And the middle value for that is the median. So it's either that, uh, that the median for that data collected is, the mid is, is part of the collected data or it can be in between of the two uh, collected data. That is why it says here that uh, it, is, uh, it can be considered as the middle value but does not have to be one of the observed data. So it can be like in the middle part, in the middle part of the two middle value. Na? Now we have here the different ways that we can figure out the median for ungrouped data. For the first, one, first part, this one here, we're going, uh, again, remember that we say we always arrange that ascendingly or descendingly ordered. Na? So for if the data just only few, okay, like six data, seven, five, and we arrange that accordingly, now we can figure out uh, already the median, okay? Because uh, as I have said that the median is the middle value of the data collected, or it can be the middle value of the two, or the, uh, yeah, the, the, the average of the two middle value, na? So just like in this example here that being shown, that uh, you will see 9 is the median because you will on the left side there are 4 datas and on the right side there are 4 data, So they are both equal. Okay, so it's the half. It's the half of all the data collected. Na? But if, uh, that is why uh, they said, uh, as they said, that uh, the data, if for example, the data is only uh, even data, number of data, like for example, the data is 8, 10, 12, uh, 14, etc. Now, there would be two middle value that you need to add or to get the average. Na? But if the number of data is like 7, 9, 11, 13, then there would be only one, one middle value. Na? only one middle value, okay? So that's the difference between the, the number of data, which is the mean, and the number of data, which is the odd number of data. And the other way is by position method. So you can figure out the, the median by means of position. Now, if there are plenty of the data that being collected, so it's very hard for you to count manually where is the middle value, na? But still here, we need to arrange the, the data from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Na? Now, it says here that uh, we need to know how many the data collected. What is the number of data collected? So this is the value of n. So this is the formula n plus 1 divided by 2. So if there would be 10 data, so plus 1 divided by 2, that would be how much? 5.5. Okay, so 5.5 meaning to say that in the middle part. Because our data is even. As I have said earlier, 
that if the data collected is even number of data, then there will be two middle value that we need to get it average. Na? So that is why if, uh, if, if n is an uh, odd number, like 9 plus 1, 10, right? Divided by 2, 5. Meaning to say, the fifth position of the data, okay, being arranged, is the median. Na? Now, we have your examples. Okay, number one. Find the media, median of the following data sets. So, we have only here five data. Okay? So, we can figure out already the median by means of uh, the halfway of the left and the right side. So, we arrange this first. Lowest to highest. Two, three, four, seven, eight. Nah. Now, from here, we can figure out already halfway. So, you will see on the left side, we have two data. And on the right side, we have seven and eight. Two data also. So, meaning to say that our median here is four. This one. Because this that's, that is the halfway. Okay, the median is four. Just easy. If there would be few datas only. Now, number two. This one. So, we have plenty. Nah? But again, we need to arrange this. We need to arrange this from lowest to highest. Okay? Now, we count how many data that we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, there are 11 data. That is what? Odd. Right? Odd. So, meaning to say that there is one. One middle value that is part of the data. That is the mean. But we're going to apply here the position. Okay? By means of position. So, what is that again? N is equal to 11. And we substitute that to the formula n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, so we have here n plus 1 divided by 2. n is 11 plus 1. That would be 12 divided by 2 or the 6th position. The 6th position is the median of this data that we arrange. So start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so this term, this one, 5 is the median of this data collected. Na? Did you understand mine? So again, as I have said, that if the data or the number of data that you collected is odd number, just like this, this is 11, right? This is 11, the number of uh, collected data. Then there is one middle value that is part of the data, and that is the median. However, if the data that you collected is even, just like 10 or 12, okay, 10 or 12 or etc. Now, there will be two middle value, okay, that is part of the data. And you need to get the average of that two value, okay. That is why we have 0.5, okay. Okay. The, the median is not part of the data collected, but that is the, the, the midpoint of the two middle value from the data collected. Na? Now, we have here more example. This one. Okay? So, how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10. That is even. Okay? So, we know already that if even, there would be two middle value from the data and we need to get the average. And if even, we know that the median will have 0.5. Okay? From this data because all of these are, are whole number. But if not whole number, do not think that it always have 0.5. Now, only for this. Only for this. Now, only for this. And we're not sure also. And we're not sure also because it depends upon the data that you collect. But still, there is a decimal point for that. The sure is decimal point. Na? Now, we arrange first this one. So, we know that this is 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So, n is 10. And we uh, apply that to the formula n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay? That is uh, 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. Okay? So, this is the position. I mean, you will see that 5.5. Okay? Meaning to say that the value is in the position of 5.5. Not 
part of the data that you collected. So we count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Na? So 5.5 is in between here. That this two value. So we need to get the average of this two value, 84 plus 85. And that would be the median. Okay? So we have 84 plus 85 divided by 2. 169 divided by 2 or 84.5. Okay? So that's the median here. You will see that the, the median value here is not part of the data collected because uh, we have an even number of data, which is 10. You see, 10 is even. Na? If it is odd, then the median is part of the data collected. Okay? Now, one more. We have here. Okay, then these email numbers. Na? Now, again, as you will observe that this uh, data is... Uh, a range already from the lowest to the highest. Share mine. So you see 10.3, 12, 13, 15, 16, 18, 20. Na? So no need to arrange. And uh, for this one, we can apply again uh, by positioning or uh, by means of the halfway method. Okay. So by positioning, we're, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 data. Na? So 7 data that is odd. Right? Odd. If odd number of data, then we are sure that our median is part of the data. Okay? Is part of the data. It's not about decimal. It's not about uh, whatever is that, but part of the data. Na? So we say n, uh, n is 7, and we substitute that to the formula. So it becomes 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the median is in the fourth position. We count here. 1, 2, 3, 4. This one. So, therefore, for this data set, uh, the median is 15. Na? Did you understand my 5 slash 2? Do you have any question? Okay, so again, if you don't have any question, um, we have here our activity. This one here. So, you have your three numbers and you're going to figure out the median. Again, remember that if the data here... Uh, it's not yet uh, arranged, then you need to arrange that from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Na? So again, that's all for today and uh, we see you again next time. Bye-bye!